But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. Jeremiah 17 and verse 7. And welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this curly bob tampered look so I'm gonna be showing you how I did the braidless crochet method using Toyatress one curls so a bit about these braids this is their 12 inch one curls in the color 1b so I just decided to cut it into this cute little tampered bob because it was a bit longer i'll leave all the information in my description bar down below if you are interested in purchasing these 12 inch one curls from toya Trust, along with a discount code which if you are interested to see how i installed and finesse these gorgeous wand curls from toya Trust. well keep on watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet go ahead subscribe to my channel and let's jump right into the installation process so the crochet braids that I'm going to be installing and reviewing today is in collaboration with Toya Trust Hair Company. So they sent me over their 12 inch Jamaican bouncy wand curls. So inside of the pack there is a crochet pin and some hair accessories. So inside of the pack there is six smaller packs inside and in each of the packs there is 16 pre-looped knots of the Jamaican wand curls. So I did went ahead had to do a tampered pixie cut look using these 12 inch one curls from Toya Trust. So let's jump right into the installation process of this braidless install. So you guys, the braids that I'm going to be installing today is in collaboration with Toya Trust Hair Company. So they sent me over their 16 inch one curl. This is what it came in. It came with six packs of their 12 inch one curl and it also came with this crochet pin and some hair accessories as you guys can see i'm going to be doing a braidless install so it does have 16 braids on each of the loop and this is how long and i'm going to be doing a braidless method you guys i haven't done that in a while so the stuff that you are going to need well the stuff that i'm going to be using today or just basic stuff that you could find in any one of your local beauty supply store and because I have kinky 4c hair my Gorilla Snot Gel works for everything you guys so I'm gonna be using this to do my braidless install along with my Fantasia super hole spritz to hold everything down you're going to need a weaving cap this is my black that I use some basic hairpins two pony rings whatever you call them ruffles to put in your hair so I did went ahead to wash my hair already so they are a bit damp and so I'm gonna be doing a middle part you guys So once I have my middle part done, I'm just going to section my hair out in two sections and I'm just going to start to work on one of the sections by applying a generous amount of my Gorilla's Knot Gel. Because my hair is already damp with water, I don't really have to use a lot of the Gorilla's Knot. So I'm going in with my hair tie and I'm just going to wrap that around about three times, not too tight. And then I'm just going to two strand twist my hair and I'm just going to repeat the same process on the other side and I'm gonna be taking two hair pins. so once my hair is in two sections I'm going to be twisting them across of each other and then I'm just gonna apply some hair pins and then I'm going to begin the insulation process so once everything is sleek don't you guys I'm going in with my spray. So once I finish applying my Gorilla Snot, I'm going in with my Fantasia Super Hole Spritz. And then I'm going to tie down my hair for half an hour so that it can dry before I apply my black weaving net. 
so once my hair is dried i'm going to be applying my black weaving net to do this braidless install and then i'm just going to begin the installation process what i'm doing i'm just going to wrap that around one time and i'm going to be working on the back portion of my hair until it's filled so again i'm just taking the crochet pin and pushing it through my hair and the weaving net and i'm just going to loop that around one time so i'm going to repeat the same process until my back of my hair is completed i'm just pushing the crochet pin in i'm closing the latch hook pulling the hair through and i'm just going to loop that around one time so i'm just going to repeat the same process until my back portion is filled up So I'm just going to continue to fill up the back portion and I've used two and a half packs so far. I'm making sure when I'm applying the crochet braid that I'm spacing them out a bit because the hair to the top is going to eventually cover the hair to the back. So once that is done, I'm going to work on the front portion. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting them in half. I'm gonna just take it, find the middle, and just put that. And this is how I'm gonna be crocheting. So, this. to the top portion, I decided to cut the Jamaican bouncy one curls in half. And I'm just gonna crochet them, making sure that one side of the hair is shorter than the next so that it could still have the length that I desire. So I'm just going to continue to crochet the braid into my hair and the weaving net until I get to the top portion. And again, once I'm to the top portion, I'm just pushing the latch hook through, putting the hair in, closing the latch hook and pulling it through. And I'm just going to loop that around one time. So I'm just going to continue to loop the Jamaican bouncy wave around one time and once I get to the top I did went in to cut off the stocking cap so now I'm going to be doing the illusion crochet method so that the braids would look as if it's growing out of my scalp so what i'm doing i'm just going to take one side of the braids and i'm wrapping it around twice so i'm just going to repeat the process i'm pulling the hair through and then i'm going to take one side of the braids and i'm pulling it through and then i'm going to wrap it around a second time for extra hold so I'm going to repeat the same process until the top portion of my hair is filled up with the Jamaican bouncy curl. And again, this is going to give me the illusion as though the braids are growing out of my scalp. So once I've completed the illusion crochet method to the top portion, this is how it's looking. It's giving scalp. However, I decided to create a bang on this curly crochet look. And then I decided to cut the hair down in a cute little bob. So this is what it's giving, but I was like, let me just cut it shorter so i did went in to cut it a little bit more and i decided to settle with a short pixie tampered look so this is the end result you guys and to finish up everything i'm going in with my fantasia super hole spritz and over that with my iso plus sheen to add a bit of shine and luster to this unit so this is the end result you guys hope you enjoyed it and see you in my next one god bless so you guys, this is the end result of this braidless crochet method look. Using braids that I got from Toyatrust, these braids are definitely 
gorgeous you guys and i did went ahead to do the crochet method so this is their one curls in 12 inches and they also have a variety of lengths and colors as well and these 12 inch retail for $34.99 on their toy trust website so it was a quick and easy crochet install i installed these braids in less than four hours and i decided to do a cute little bang on this look you guys and i'm definitely loving how the look turned out i'll leave all the information for these braids in my description bar down below so thank you so much for watching and until next time see you in my next video and always remember to put god first in everything that you do